A 10 year old male reported with yellowish discoloration of the skin, fever, chills, malaise, and general weakness, along with the presence of Pesas bodies, safety pin cells in the blood picture. The following image was taken. The most likely diagnosis is. So, the only important point that we have to see over here are Pesas bodies and safety pin cells in the blood picture. When this is the only key point that is you know indicating what the possible pathology could be in addition to that if you see in the clinical picture the maxilla over here appears to be more protuberant along with the display of excessive display of incisors so that means there is some problem with the maxilla so the answer in all probability over here should be thalassemia because in sickle cell anemia you will not have uh, presence of fessas bodies okay so let's see the answer the answer over here is thalassemia. It is also called Cooley's anemia, Mediterranean anemia and erythroblastic anemia. All of these were neat MCQs. They were asked in the medi medical PG papers. Thalassemia represents a group of disorders. Okay, so in this what we need to remember is there is lack of synthesis of either alpha or beta chain. So in alpha thalassemia there is decrease in alpha chains whereas in beta you have decreased beta genes. Okay. The disease is mild, minor or thalassemia trait. It represents for both alpha and beta. Homozygous may exhibit a severe form of disease that is called thalassemia major and this is very important in which the production of beta genes is marked, markedly decreased or absent and consequently decrease in synthesis of total hemoglobin occurs. This results in severe hypochromic anemia. So, even in thalassemia, you have a microcytic hypochromic form of anemia. Okay. Excess of alpha chains which synthesize at the normal rate precipitate as insoluble inclusion bodies within the erythrocytes and their precursors. The presence of intracellular fessas bodies leads to increased erythrocyte hemolysis and severe ineffective hematopoiesis. The bone marrow hyperplasia, see what happens over here is, since there is decreased production, since there is increased hemolysis, there is decreased RBCs. Since there is decreased RBCs, the bone starts producing more RBCs. As a result, the bone marrow becomes hypercellular and increases in size. This increased size is what we see in thalassemia in the skull and in the skull it's called hair on end appearance. This hair on end appearance when you see the lateral skull is seen it is also seen in sickle cell. Okay, one more important feature about thalassemia is enlargement of the premaxilla. So, there is increased size of premaxilla. You have chipmunk faces, then you have target cells or safety pin cells that are seen in the blood picture. Okay, hypochromic microcytic target cells with a condensing. So, what are these target cells? These are nothing but your the microcytic hypochromic cells are uh, microcytic hypochromic RBCs are what are called as target cells. Condensation of the coloring matter in the center of the cell. Okay.